Thank you very much. On the 16th of September, we were here with the hierarchy of the Ministry of Education, comprising the Commissioner for Education, the Tutors General, and all the principals of Model Colleges in Lagos State, to which the Honorable House Committee on Education intervened on the matter and gave a directive that there be a stay on the tension to increase the body fees until the beginning of second term, which is January 2025. And in the meantime, while they are, while they are uh, maintaining this, all students must go back to school with only 35,000 and they will give all parents through the parents forum independent access into the schools to hold their meetings and to be able to choose their representatives without any form of meddlesomeness from the school management. Now, on this, we were surprised on the 19th of September, the Minister of Education reneged on this. Did not only not stop us, that went on to say that on the 100,000 naira per term fee, they insist on, which is not only outrageous and sensitive, but criminal. Why do we say this? From 2021, when we started this engagement and the House of um, Assembly, part of assembly intervened. We proved to them through empirical means, first principles, that of the then 35,000 naira we were paying, they were spending only 18,000 naira, both for the feeding of the children and their welfare needs. We are talking of feeding people in bulk. It's not like the, what, um, what your plate food in the restaurants or what have you. And with that, that they said we should abide with them. They pleaded with us to go down with them to pay 35,000. And if you look at that, 18,000 out of 35 is just 51 percent of the fee. What are the remaining 49 percent? Where does it go to? Into the pocket of the principals and their bosses. And now that um, they've noticed a little bit of um, inflation in the market, they are now they now want to use that as an excuse to jack it up. 200 percent let's ask ourselves they just finished a session in july we are they not serving our children with the 35,000 naira we were paying them they did what extraordinarily happened in two months between july and september to 200 percent increment without due consultation like the honorable commissioner i don't want to be using honorable now the commissioner for education promised are two different public fora that before a review is carried out, we will be invited to give our say or to prove otherwise. We have given them, we have given the Ministry of Education the latest version of our feeding and welfare analysis as sat 29th of January of this year. And the Honorable House of Assembly has requested that while they maintain the tariff, we, the parents for us, should not go back to update our feeding and welfare analysis for them to consider in having a review. But to forestall it, that is why they now want to go back and force. And it now, and it's now more interesting and very sad to know that in going about this, they have started to mindlessly punish the children to the extent of starving them in the boarding houses. Just last week, when my daughter came home on a complaint, it was discovered, I just learned yesterday that she had developed ulcer. She had never had ulcer. And that has been the prevalent disease in almost all the modern colleges. Why is this so? Even when we pay 25, they would not spend the money on them. They will use it. We have many stories of many houses they built, hotels they built, they own schools that they own. And some of them, even they don't have their children stored in here, these are level 17 at the very minimum, level 16 officers. We are living so flamboyantly on our pay. Not even the governor has a say in this, you know. Because by our paying the 35,000 naira, we were subsidizing free education policy for the state government. Model education, model college education is deliberately made to be based on boarding school facilities. We didn't even ask for it. They said they wanted that so that the children will be more focused. 
And in case what the, meaning, the Commissioner for Education is saying, it's very, very, um, it, it is very, very unfortunate that at that level, we could have somebody who will say that um, they would rather increase uh, the fees, body fees, for modern colleges so that only the children of the rich could benefit from it and children of the indigent would not be employed in other public schools. That's very wrong. In the first instance, modern colleges were established with taxpayers' money. And in the second instance, nobody gained admission to these modern colleges just by man, no man. Deliberately, it had to be through an examination that is the source the best from the students. And that is why they want the best to be given the best of government um, facilities in order to be able to get at this. Yes.